back to my channel. Today I created this affordable drugstore makeup look. The lighting in this video today really drove me nuts. I use all natural lighting and today it's been like bright dark, bright dark. So it's been really hard to get the lighting right. So I hope it doesn't annoy too many people. See, and now it's like really bright. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a big thumbs up. That would help me out so much. If you guys like what you see, then keep on watching. If you don't, it's probably too late and you should keep on watching anyway. First up, like always, I'm going to start with my brows. I'm going to take my Chi Chi Brow Pomade and this one is in the shade Taupe. And I'm going to take that on my 317 Wing Liner Brush. I know guys, I keep on using a wing liner brush for my brows. I really should get a proper brow brush, but this is working for me for now. I'm just going to conceal under my brows using my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind concealer this one is in the shade fair clair and i'm also going to use that to prime my eyelids just to set that i'm going to take my sports girl eye shade it palette and i'm going to use the shade vanilla on my real techniques setting brush for my transition shade i'm just going to take the shade pecan from the same palette and i'm going to take that on my morphe m505 brush to warm that crease up a little bit i take the shade caramel on my morphe m441 brush and just begin blending that through and then i take the same brush from before and just blend over those two colors then I'm going to take my Chi Chi Splices palette and just take this shade here and I'm going to pack that on the outer corner using my Morphe M433 brush and after that I'll blend over using that same blending brush as well. Then from the same palette I just take this warmer shade and put that also on the outer corner of my eye and blend that out also. I'm going to go back in with that pecan shade and just put that back in my crease. Just to darken up my eyes a little bit more, I'm going to go in with the shade Liquish from that same Sports Girl palette and just place that on the outer corner of my eye and then begin blending that through. Then I grab the shade Vanilla and I'm going to pack that all over my eyelid. Then I grab my Sports Girl on the Glow Sunkiss palette and I'm going to take the shade Golden and just begin highlighting under my brows. I'm just going to take my waterproof eyeliner pen by Essence. This is a really affordable product and I was actually quite happy with how well it went on. I will also leave a description of all the products I've used in the comments down below if anybody's interested. Just to tidy up that wing a little bit, I'm going to take some concealer on my Morphe M508 brush. For my lashes, I'm just going to take my Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara and just apply that to my top lashes. And then just to thicken up my lashes even more, I'm going to take my Rimmel Volume Mascara Flash Times 10. So this one just basically thickens up the lashes a lot more, the other one lengthens them. Then I'm just going to apply my Red Cherry 747M lashes. I forgot that I don't own a drugstore primer, so today I just went in with foundation. So I'm going to take the L'Oreal Infallible Total Cover Full Coverage Long Wearing Foundation in the shade 21 Golden Sand and just begin dotting that all over my face. Then I'm going to blend it out with my 102 Silk Finish Brush by The Waver. Next, I'm going to just conceal under my eyes using the same concealer from before. So I placed that also down my nose, on my forehead, on the sides of my nose, and on my chin, and I'm just going to blend that all out with my damp beauty blender. Just to set that, I'm going to take my Astralis Fresh and Flawless Press Powder in the shade Nude and take that on my Real Technique setting brush, just set all those areas where we place the concealer. Then I'm going to set all of my face using the darkest brown shade in that same pressed powder using my 106 powder brush by Zoeva. I'm just going to take this warm brownie orangey coloured shade from the Spices palette on my Morphe M508 brush and just place that under my lash line. Then I'm just going to take this orangey coloured shade from the same palette on my Morphe M330 brush and just blend that over the other colour. Just to darken up the outer corner of my eye, I'm going to go back in with that liquid shade.
I'm just going to take my Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil in the shade 01 Black Fever and put that in my waterline, just focusing on the outer corner. I'm just going to bronze my face now using the Rimmel Natural Bronzer in the shade 25 Sun Glow and I'm going to take that on my 127 Luxia Cheek Brush by Zoeva. For my blush, I'm going to use the Essence Satin Touch Blush in the shade 10 Satin Coral. By now you guys probably realise this is my favourite blush. And I'm just going to take that on my same 127 Zoeva brush. To highlight my face, I'm going to use the same golden highlight we used from before and just put that on the tops of my cheekbones, down my nose, on my cupid's bow and on my forehead just a little bit. I'm also going to just take a little bit of that and place it on the inner corner of my eye just to brighten up that area and make me look more awake. For my lips today, I'm going to use the Sports Girl Lip Chalk Matte Cream in the shade Sandstorm. This product made my lips look really horrible after wearing it for like 5 minutes, so I'm not going to be wearing that or purchasing that product again. Just to darken up my brows a little bit, I'm going to go in with the Essence Eyebrow Styler Set and I'm just going to take the darkest shade towards the edge of my eyebrow and towards the center, I'm going to take that lighter shade. So this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching my video. I also just wanted to show you guys this cute little brush holder I picked up today from Sports Girl. But yeah, if you guys liked watching this, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in my next video.